said that I love you. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Rebecca Snowden, and I am a junior at Scott Catholic. And this poem was written for my grandma on the 17th of December, 2015. And it's titled, Five Days Before. Tchaikovsky. You lay in bed, sheets as crisp as the cold winter air that has just begun to arrive. We watch your breasts meet the notes of the music. The last time I saw you, you were sitting up, smiling, petting the Yorkshire Terriers who will never greet you there again. And now, well, we listen to Tchaikovsky, lifting you up not with the support beams of promised cures, but with soft pillows. There is no cure to age. It's as if I am mourning with you still alive, raising my heart out to meet your hand. You are frost on the winter trees, delicate and pale and just waiting for that sun to rise. Tchaikovsky sits with us. I wish it could be our choir concert instead. We sang Oh Holy Night and to have seen your face lift itself to the sound. It was the first one you couldn't make it to. I wish I had the power to harmonize with myself, split my vocal cord into four part harmony just so I can soothe you to sleep. They say music is all you react to now. Tchaikovsky has yet to begin his finale as it's time to go. A hug, a whispered, I love you, a short gasp of air, something to let us know you recognized it, recognized me, responded to me. It is the first thing you've reacted to since we got there. My first instinct is to yank myself away, choke down the sobs that want to rise so easily, stand there, before forcing myself back to you, caressing these bird-like bones that have flown you so far in all their fragility. Tchaikovsky is still playing his coda as I whisper it to you another time. I love you, not goodbye. Even now, I will not let that word come tearing out of my mouth. I love you is the closest I ever get. Packaged and wrapped like a present on Christmas morning. Grandma, I wish you Christmases in your haze now. I wish you every Christmas morning you've ever found yourself joyous. I wish you comfort, as soft as the touch of your hand in mine. I wish you peace in your mind, if not in your body. And I wish you reconciliation of your pain and ours to that discordant harmony of strings that grows ever softer in the restrained vastness of this room. In whatever the afterlife holds, I wish that you and grandpa can see each other again for who you were in life before nursing homes. This, this is for everything I could never say to you knowing that it might be the last thing to make it from my lips to your ears. I put all of them into this last. I love you. Sleep well. Keep it going for the poem.